When you think of the Temptations, who comes to mind first? David Ruffin, Eddie Kendricks, Paul Williams, Dennis Edwards? How about Blue? Nah, how about the most underrated Temptation of all time, Richard Street? He was there from the very beginning through all the highs and lows of the group. So with that being said, let's cue that intro. Born Richard Allen Street on October 5th, 1942 in Detroit, Michigan. Richard, he's the only member of the Temptations that's a Detroit native. Now, a fun fact. While in high school, Richard dated a young lady named Diane. He would help her and some other young ladies on a singer craft just for the fun of it. This young lady who was his girlfriend was later to be known as Diana Ross. And the other ladies was the Supremes. At that, during that time also, I was teaching a girls group how to sing, which uh, the lead singer was my girlfriend, and that was uh, Diana Ross and the Supremes. You, uh, your, Diana <laughs> was your girlfriend? Three years. It was in high school. Yeah. Were they the primates of the time? No, there were nobody when they I were... was rehearsing them. They had no name. There was just, we just got together and sung in the projects. Three times out of the week, we had no name. We had no idea it was going to be the Temptations, Supremes, Primates, and nobody. We were just kids singing together. Did you take them to Barry Golden? No. When that happened, I had already rehearsed them. And when I looked up, when I got to the motel, and I, they kept saying, Diana. And I was like, who's Diana? You know, I got a girl's group on, and I said, what? And then I saw her, I said, just got that's Diane. <laughs> that's the Supremes. Oh, man. I Richard Street, he will perform with Melvin Franklin from time to time. Also, they are cousins. Melvin and Richard would join Otis' group called the El Domingos. In 1958, the group was signed with Johnny Mae Matthews' label, Northern Records. Under the label, the group would record two songs called Come On in 1959 that starred Richard Street as lead singer. And they would also follow up with All Right in 1960 that was unsuccessful. Although they would record two songs on the Johnny Mae Matthews label, Come On became a local hit, even getting the attention of Warwick Records, who pick up the song for national distribution rights. Following this, Johnny Mae, she would change the group name to Otis Williams in the distance. Due to the lack of success with the group, Lucha Rail and Richard Street would leave, while Otis, Blue, and Al were down two members, they would lose the name The Distance. Richard Street would sign with Thelma Records, a label owned by Hazel Coleman, who was Barry Gordy's first wife mother. Also, this is a sub-label of Motown. Richard Street would form his own group and take the name The Distance, as they would now call Richard Street in The Distance. They would record the song Answer Me that was written and produced by a young 20-year-old Norman Ritzfield. This song was unsuccessful. Richard Street, he would link up with former member of The Distance with Otis was the leader, Warren Harris. They would form the Majestics. They would later change their name to the Montours after finding out a lot of groups were using the name Majestics at the time. In 1964, the Montours were signed with Motown and they released the song Say You that reached number 36 on the R&B charts. In 1968, the group released the album Greetings with the Montours. This album was unsuccessful and the members of the Montours had to adapt quickly and pick up positions at Motown to bring in the income because singing, it wasn't doing enough. Fun fact, Richard Street, he worked in the Motown Quality Control Department. Richard, he would start touring with the Temptations after Otis hired him to sing Paul Lines as Paul Health began to take a toll. This was kind of like a reunion to Richard as he was an original member of Otis Williams in the distance. In 1971, Richard would become an official member of the Temptations. Paul, he had to leave the group due to his health getting worse. Eddie Kendricks, he will quit the group and the new lineup of the Temptations was Otis Williams, Melvin Franklin, Dennis Edwards, Richard Street, and Damon Harris. Both Damon and Richard made their debut on the song Superstar that reached number 18 on the Billboard Hot 100 charts. 
Superstar was one of the music's first diss songs. This was a direct hit towards David Ruffin, who was fired in 1968, and Eddie Kendricks, who quit the group earlier that year. They will follow up Superstar with 1972 hit Papa Was a Rolling Stone. This song reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 charts. This song was a major success as it gave the group and Motown their very first Grammy Award. Now, when you ask someone whose song or Papa Was a Rolling Stone, most will say Dennis Edwards. But what most people don't know is that Richard Street actually shared vocals with Dennis on the song. Go ahead and have another listen after this video. Fun fact, most members of the Temptations wasn't a fan of the song due to its long instrumental in the beginning. The song was about 12 minutes long. Around this time, tensions between the group and songwriter and producer Norman Whitfield began to grow. In 1975, The Temptations released the song Glass House that reached number 37 on the Billboard Hot 100 charts. This was the group's last hit to reach top 40 on the Billboard Hot Pop charts. And during the recording of the song, A Song For You, Otis fired Damon Harris, stating that his work ethic was unprofessional. Fun fact. The group stopped working with Norman Wicksfield and started working with another songwriter and producer. This songwriter and producer wanted to push Dennis Edwards as a focus point of the group. Well, it didn't sit well with Otis. Otis went to Motown executives stating that this was the reason why the group was lacking success at the moment. I don't think that what it was, Otis. After the release of the album, The Temptations Do The Temptations, Otis was fired Dennis, replacing him with Lewis Price. The Temptations contract with Motown expired, and the group decided to sign with Atlantic Records. They would release two albums on Atlantic called Here at the Temple in 1977 and Bear Back in 1978. Both albums were very unsuccessful, to the point where Atlantic said forget it and released the group from their label in 1979. In 1980, Motown would sign The Temptations back and Barry would get to work writing and producing the song Power. This song was a failure. It didn't even reach 100 on the Billboard Hot 100 charts. Barry, he would begin planning a reunion tour around all members of the Temptations. But first, he would partner up the group with Motown's biggest funk star, Rick James, who is Blue Nephew. Temptations would bring background vocals to Rick James' song, Super Free. And in 1982, Rick James, he would write and produce the song Standing on the Top. He also produced the group's reunion album. In 1992, Richard, he would undergo surgery to remove kidney stones, resulting in him missing a performance. Well, this didn't sit right with Otis. Otis would call Richard and give him an earful, which Richard felt that Otis didn't care about what he had just went through. So he made up his mind, and in 1993, Richard, he would leave the group. As he said, the family feeling of the group was gone. After being with the group for 25 years, Richard was gone for good. Richard sang lead in songs like Superstar in 1971, Papa Was a Rolling Stone, The First Time I Saw Your Face, and Firefly in 1972, Hey Girl, and Masterpiece in 1973. Y'all should really go check out them songs. After leaving the group, Richard, he would perform solo, sometimes linking up with Damon Harris. In 2006, Richard, he would get married to Cynthia Ramirez. Also, some fun facts about Richard. Richard, he was married to Carolyn Gill, from the Verarets from 1969 to 1983. They would have one kid together, Richard Jr. He also had three other kids with three other women. Richard was at the hospital getting treated for blood clots where things would take the turn for the worse. On February 27, 2013, Richard, he would pass away at the age of 70, just nine days after fellow Temptation member Damon Harris had passed away. Morning, the loss of a beloved voice tonight. Richard Street was part of the Temptations for 25 years. You know the hits. I heard it through the grapevine. Ain't too proud to beg. Just my imagination, among many, many more. Street was 70 years old, and his wife says he died early today in Las Vegas after a short illness. Richard Street shall be remembered as one of the greatest members of the Temptations. He provided vocals for our favorite songs, and he was there through it all. Richard Street was a temptation before there was a temptations. Let that sink in. Thanks to all my subscribers for watching and those that's not a subscriber, thank you as well. If you like what you see and would like to see more, check out a few more videos. And until then, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.